Welcome to part two of the AppliTools Masterclass. Here, we're going to explain how Visual AI comes in to address testing problems we discussed in part one. AppliTools is an AI-powered visual testing and monitoring solution, and dare I say, the only true one. But more on that later. At a high level, we add AI capabilities to your existing tools and workflows to enable the automation of visual testing, but by doing so, we actually significantly change and improve the way you test, period, with the ability to functional test faster, better, and simpler. Our customers report a reduction of at least 50% in the time spent on functional testing, all while significantly expanding and accelerating their testing coverage. So, with a lot less, we accomplish a lot more, which equals a clear win, both organizationally and technologically. And here's the best part. If your team is using Python, Java, Appium, or any other framework, it makes no difference for AppliTools. We have an SDK to support it. In fact, we've yet to find a framework, a customer requests, that we don't have an SDK or method to support. In addition, we have integrations to your favorite CI tools, and GitHub, Jira, even Slack, as well as tutorials for every SDK imaginable on the website. AppliTools is used by the most advanced development houses across all sectors and verticals. Software companies, banking, finance, insurance, retail, healthcare, government, you name it. That's because if you can see it, you must test it. And to test it, AppliTools is the best way you can. A quick reminder on what AppliTools does at its faced function. We ensure that any bug is caught which otherwise wouldn't be with a standard functional test. As we ensure the visual presentation is correct, meaning the screen shows exactly as you expect it. Here's a screen capture of a website. Now here it is where the buy button has been broken on the visual level. It actually passed an automation test, which didn't include a visual test. As the button is still technically working, but due to a presentation change across the browser, the button has actually moved off the visible page. So let me ask you, if the button is there, but you can't access it, does it really work? The customer won't see it, is blocked from buying, and therefore, if we say that it's functionally working, is it really? So to be clear, an app must pass visually across all different browsers and variations before actually being called passed. So visual testing is not only critical, but a 100% must. No question to functional testing. 